Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson 10. And 15 PCA. Native 454. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at C15 Podcast. So the first thing up is the new Ninja Turtles trailer. We were kind of trashing on it when we saw the pictures. But I always said, hey, let's see the animation. Let's see what it looks like. Let's start with the good. The the voices are fine. Yeah. The voices yeah. all sound good. Raphael, yeah. Leonardo, they all sound good. Yeah, they don't sound weird or different. And where we got to was the animation. It's 50-50 because... While the action scenes look like they look pretty cool, like there's a yes. scene where uh, Michelangelo like throws his like yo-yo thing and it looks like a big flaming. Yeah, or when April does like a slide, she does a slide and the turtle goes over. So, like, yeah, it's really for the, cool. The only problem I have with that scene is that I have like this ten year old girl's crotch right in my face. Like it <laughs> well, takes up the whole well, picture. Yeah, it, it's kind of weird that it's kind of focused yeah. on that angle. But I mean, as a cool aspect of like an action scene, that would be kind of cool. But what I did notice is they're, they're taking shortcuts. All the turtles in the background are flat and they're just moving. Yeah, along yeah. and you see that a lot like there's a scene where they're like running through the sewers it's not even it doesn't look like finished animation mm-hmm. it literally looks like animatic yeah like there, there's no details on the faces almost like a flash animation it's yeah, really yeah. No, that's definitely what they're using they're using some type of flash yeah, yeah. And, then, and it's weird because then you'll have other moments where like it uh, shows like I think it's Wrath that gets knocked into the wall but it shows like the the actual like boom of the yeah. head and it shows like the nice little like aura of like the the dance and everything, so it's like they they amped up some areas and they go real cheap. Well, I think they go like, like I think uh, what Kim was saying. The action scenes look pretty good. It's just everything else in yeah. between. Like yeah. when they're Let's talking, there's like no shading or anything. Like there's like sometimes there's shadows and shading. Sometimes there isn't. Yeah, it just looks like they're t- they're cutting corners everywhere they can. Oh yeah, any place they can cut a corner, they're gonna cut it. It's just so weird. Like when you see uh, Leonardo's like, "Hey, I got the funny one-liners," and you can see him turn his head. There's like. It skips a frame of animation. Mm-hmm. Just any little thing they can do to cheap it, they're cheapening it. Yeah. And it's just like, it needs to all look good. <laughs> Not just the fight scenes, which do look pretty cool. Like, even one of the scenes you see Raphael going towards the screen, it looks like he has like an aura around him. Yeah. Like a bigger aura. <coughs> and it's like, oh, I wonder if that's going to be like a nujitsu thing. Yeah, or is yeah, that going to be like, yeah, yeah, like some type of like power energy thing. And we saw what I think are the Foot Clan. They look like these nasty little things yeah they're like odd they or, or like they could be line. those mosquito things that uh well you can see like it's only for like a second, second but they yes. they have the foot all oh, they have the foot print mask. on their face no oh. mask it's like a it's like a tattoo yeah it's like a tattoo oh. it's weird they don't even oh. work and, and the purple looks off and it's just odd. and they don't look like ninjas they look like oh. creatures mm. or just like nasty dudes so and then we get to see a little bit of Splinter and he just looks awful. He's a fat, tubby little guy. Yeah, and they didn't even show too much of him, which is weird. He's cracked a joke. But what's also yeah. odd about the whole thing is if you think about it, this is by Nickelodeon. The last intro they did was fine. The animation was fine. So I don't know why. Well, because that was three D animation. It went back to uh, what traditional two D animation. Yeah. But I don't know the fight again. Again, I say the fight scenes looked great. It looked pretty cool, especially the Michelangelo's. I think looked the coolest. Mm-hmm. Oh He's yeah. like he's throwing that little yo yo thing. And, oh, another thing I disliked was um, it kind of showing Donatello has, like, an anger problem. Yeah, that's not Donatello He's, like, working on this thing, like, oh, I can fix this. And then he, like, headbutts that's it and it. breaks it. He's like, I think I can't fix it. And it's like, oh. Then there's another scene where Donatello's running, which the animation looks really good. Then he gets, like, this big giant hammer. I mean, what is he, Harley Quinn? But anyways, he smashes something, but he looks angry. Yeah. So it's like... Is he going to have an anger problem? I feel but like... that's never been Donatello. It's never been a staple of his. Yeah. Raph had the anger issues, yeah. not Donatello. Oh, yeah, and well, the thing is, I'm thinking what they're trying to do, because Donatello's always had maybe... A frustration. A frustration, or even like a sense of doubt when he couldn't understand something. But not cause... anger, though. Yeah, it was never anger, because he always doubted himself, because he's always like, I need to be the smart one, because out, f- out of my four or three brothers... Or four brothers, I'm the one that's going to figure things out. And if I can't, then we're all kind of done for. Yeah. So I can see that, but him having anger is a little yeah, weird. I, just, I don't know if that's a thing. I just kind of saw that the yeah. way that he like headbutts the controller. Why would he, I can understand him like, oh, this stupid thing's not working, but to like full blown headbutt is that a good joke? Yeah, it's, it's just so joke. weird. And, and out of place. I, I didn't like Leo's little like uh, pun that he said. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, you guys here's like a, my jokes. And here's I'm the like, thing mm-hmm. about comedy. I, it's hard to say what's funny to one person won't be funny yeah. to another, but it fell flat on me oh, personally. Yeah. Well, it's just hard because you're so used to Leo not being so. I mean, yeah, the quips. Yeah, I that's mean, not at all. He's, yeah. he's supposed to be the leader, and, and I don't like Raphael's uh, snaggletooth. Yeah, looks all he has the weird. little pointy tooth. Okay, it's not somebody watched anime. Okay, we get it. Yeah. If, if anyone who remembers, especially in the '90s, this was really big. Oh, yeah. If there's a mischievous character, it's usually a girl. They'll have a little pointy tooth showing, and that should show that ooh, they're the they're like the, the one who's a little yeah, the yeah. mean one, or like they're gonna do something. Uh, 
Oh, they're they're yeah, like you said, like they're, they're they have a mean as streak dream. to them. Yeah, yeah exactly. As a, a joke I saw, Family Guy, she's the girl that stands on the table. Oh, you're out of control. Yeah, and it's like okay, we get it. And like in those scenes, that it's like showing them, like Leonardo's like doing some stupid quip. Oh, we got the color coordinated things. Look, it's falling flat, yeah. and they're kind of standing there. Now animation looks it looks cheap. Yeah. Okay, this is a scene where we can cheap the animation. Well, this is another scene we can cheap the animation. And they show uh, that Draxum guy. He looks worse in the actual animation oh, that yeah. he does in the, the the character sheet. Yeah. I want to no detail. All, like, there's the so thing. less detail. And also, they're making a lot of the things colorful, which is kind of weird. I mean, I know it's supposed to be like a kid's show, so bright colors and different contrasts of color, but... Ninja Turtles is supposed to be a little bit more darker, a little more. Green. Just one that that the, the, oh, the, the palette. The palettes. I say the palettes remind. Me, remember that horrible Spider-Man show on Disney XD? Yeah. That they had like in the two thousands. It reminds me of that horrible color choices. It's like a super weird bright color. So, yeah. I don't know. Overall, again, I still, I'm still, I still don't like it. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I wasn't gonna watch. It I'll anyways, watch. But... I'll watch the first episode or like whatever. No, like the first three episodes or yeah, like the, the first the little first, mini arc. Yeah, yeah, the first. episode. I'll give that beginning a chance because i like the voices the fight scene animations look good but everything else looked cheap i mm-hmm. i did i really what really bugged me was donatello's reactions to things because he looks like he may or may not have an anger problem yeah and and, and if you were going to try to get a new main bad guy you, this, this one you had to hit out of the park if you're not going to get shredder you had to hit out of the park and it's not even close to that it's not even close to that and then the whole fact that you can see donatello's eyebrows which over yeah. well, why you, money he yeah. doesn't. They don't have eyebrows. They no. don't have hair. No, don't have Why hair. can we see his eyebrows? Well, maybe he put eyebrows. Yeah, he painted them on, uh, fully Cooley style. Like yes. he just had That's what it looks like. Yeah, this big old blocky uh, eyebrows for no reason. I guess, but the, so he emotes more. Yeah, but none of the other no. turtles have that. Well, yeah, I think they did that for Donatello so that he, yeah, because without eyebrows, it's kind of hard right. to show his anger. Because he's wearing like a full blown. How can they go fight when she looks like she's ten years old in this? Like, yeah, and like in that bat. scene, like you said, like she's <laughs> she's. Uh, front and center in that battle. Yeah, it was like yeah, they're in yeah. an arcade because mm-hmm. like, it was like skee ball and everything. And I'm like, well, she's right there fighting the bad guys right along with them. Uh, in the last series, she like learned uh, some ninja moves and she learned how to fight. Well, and also, she had her psychic abilities that kind of helped out too. So like, if it came down to it, she could just push. And remember, when that series, she was 15. So now she's even younger now. So it's like she was already kind of like she's 10. Yeah. yeah, 10 in this. I don't know. I, I, I'm I'm still not that trailer. Again, like I said, there's just the, the voices are good. The mm-hmm. fight animation looks pretty good, but everything else is I'm down on it. I'm down on everything else. Yeah, I, I would I'd say the trailer probably was like a six. Yeah, yeah, like, well, I mean, like five for me. they kind of had the music like the like the the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles yeah. song, but it was like kind of remixed. I'm like, eh, that's just yeah, okay. It was okay. The action scenes when they were done right were really good. Um, the turtle, like said, so the voices were okay, but then there was a lot of things that just. It wasn't, didn't seem right. You're just like, oh, that kind of is cringy a little bit. And, I was talking about Crimson Sin about this before, but if this would have been the first series to come out, it would have killed them. Oh, yeah, they, there would be no Ninja Turtles. No, there wouldn't be. No. If Sorry, this would have be been honest. the very yeah the very first one that came out, <clears throat> it would have been uh, 20 episodes-ish, and then it would have been over and been never. forgotten. Yeah, the show for, from the 80s, forgotten. Yeah, and yeah. It, so, it um, Nickelodeon, I don't know. I'm still willing to give the first couple episodes a chance, but like I said... They got it. That animation quality doesn't usually doesn't get better as the series goes on. Yeah, it just tends to go more. Especially worse. if these are the first episodes. Yeah, can they you sh- imagine? They should be top notch, and they're kind of exactly. I we needed consistency. Yes, we need consistency. We needed a trailer like for the first Ninja Turtles movie, and we got something in between the coming out of our shells and like <laughs> oh, mixed geez. with like I don't know like the, the third the, Turtles movie. Yeah. No, um, that that word is uh, that that movie is just that's, <laughs> that's the terrible. Show, they show is terrible. It's if horrible. If the animation of the fight scenes was the constant across yes. the whole series, I'd be like, man, the animation looks so good. But you can tell they're 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 being cheap, where they're trying to like sneak in the cheapiness. Yes, uh, and now it's another thing the anime does too. They yeah. cheap episodes, but we criticize that too. So we can, what, do you want to follow that too yeah. as well? Yeah, and also I know what I know what pe- you know people say about the whole series. It was a product of its time when it first came out, so they had to be kind of more. 
you know, kid friendly, especially with parents yeah. and everything. Now you can be a little more action y because parents are, I wouldn't say okay with violence, but more open. It's, yeah, it's definitely the sensibilities have changed. Sensibilities are different, but I still feel like there's just something not right about this new series. There's just something that's like, uh. Yeah, I can watch the last series yeah, and I'd be okay I, I with it. Yeah, I can watch I can't, it. I can't watch this. I don't know. Well, again, I'm going to give it a or chance. Try. Yeah, I, 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 I got to give it at least one, two, three episodes because I love the turtles and I have to give it a chance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For personally, for my personal edification, so, yeah. I have to give it a chance. But overall, meh. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's all you can do. Crimson Sin here. Thanks for watching and be sure to like, sub, and share. Also, for the most up-to-date information about the podcast, follow us on Twitter at C15Podcast. 